Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. Welcome back to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. The second offering from the brand new Kelson Brewery of Derry, New Hampshire, is the Battle Axe IPA. The Battle Axe IPA comes in with an alcohol by volume of 7.2% ABV. Yes, it's the <laughs> Battle Axe IPA. I couldn't resist. I just had to do that. But that's not a battle axe. That's my axe I used to chop my wood with. But anyway, uh, this brewery just opened March 1st of 2014. I attended the grand opening and got to uh, pick up this one as well as the other one I reviewed, which was their brown. Uh, good turnout at the uh, at the uh, at the event, and um, and uh, they got another beer on the way. They. Uh, are brewing a pale ale, which is not ready yet, but should be soon, so we'll be looking out for that one. So but for now, I'm going to get into this uh, Battle Axe IPA and uh, give it a good solid review here. Get a good uh, total through and through review, we say. All right, give it a pour. Okie dokie into, well, it's the standard pint glass. Why not? Okay, giving it a pour, and there it is. Definitely got a nice uh, head on top of this one, I will say. Put this over here. Okay, color-wise, getting a nice copper, orange, uh, you know, medium amber, copper, golden, bronze, you know, just that off amber color. Um, and a lot of carbonation building up to this pretty good sized uh, cream colored head. And uh, it's, you know, it's vaguely, uh, vaguely foggy. Now, let's check out the aroma. You know, this is an interesting aroma because it does have, uh, you know, what you would expect from an IPA is a hop sensation, a floral hop sensation. And, uh, but also there's a real, more of a darker fruit sensation of some kind. Well, not really dark fruit, perhaps, but more, um, it's, it's not the pineapple type fruit, uh, you know, the zesty, the zingy type tart fruit that I get a lot in IPAs. It's more of a darker, meatier fruit, kind of akin to, a, you know, a darker fruit, like a, Maybe red grapes or, uh, or um, yeah, maybe currant, something like that. But it definitely has a nice uh, fruity character along with the floral and earthy hoppiness, which is not overwhelming, but definitely a, a, a notable part of the aroma. Checking out the uh, taste. Mm, now that really drinks smoothly. Drinks easily, drinks smoothly. And um, really inviting beer. Very sweet. Um, not sugar sweet, but the, I think it's those malts that are coming in are really bringing out a nice, um, solid sweetness on this beer. And the hop character is much more muted. As a matter of fact, I think the brown ale I had yesterday from them was hoppier than the IPA is. And But I'm not complaining about that because I happen to like my IPAs to be a little more on the, um, you know, toned down side. But... Oh, yeah, I'm not saying there's no hops there. You're definitely getting a really good fruity hoppiness uh, that comes up behind the uh, malt character that's there at first. And um, uh, then it evolves into the hoppy character, but not an overwhelming bitterness, not a real big bitterness. You know, um, uh, you know the brown is pretty bitter compared to this one, I would think. Mm. But this is entirely easy to drink. Very bold in the body, too. Um, I mean, it's just got a boldness to it, and a smooth character to it, and a uh, you know, juicy character to it. You know, uh, uh, it just uh, really is a it's a it's a nice drinking beer. Hmm. Now, but the the sweetness is definitely sort of uh, uh, it's a lot sweeter than some IPAs may be, or at least the IPAs I've had. Now, I'm not complaining because I really actually like this beer a lot. Someone, though, who is expecting a real bitter hop IPA, even if it's a more toned-down English-style IPA, uh, you might not uh, get the hop uh, character you were hoping for, but, um, it's, but it, you'll definitely get that good caramel, uh, brown sugar, sweetness character uh, that leads up to the hop character that comes in toward the end. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, this is really easy to drink. It's only 7.2%. Uh, which isn't terribly high, for me anyway, might be for some, but uh, for 7.2% it drinks pretty easily. Um, this beer would be very desirable 
uh, after I've had a busy day, well, look, I did have a busy day. I was cleaning my oven earlier today, scrubbing it down a bit, and that took some time. So this is a welcome beer after that chore of the day. Mmm. Mmm. But as I take further sips, or more sips, I should say, uh, the hop bitterness does kind of come in as, uh, as the uh, uh, beer sort of floats on down the glass, or floats on down my throat, I should say, and goes on down the glass. So that head is hanging in there. It's leaving some pretty good lacing. Uh, but sweet, you know, sweet and bitter are the two uh, catchwords for this beer. Hmm. So that's yeah, a likable beer. Another good one from this new brewery. I'm looking forward to the pale whenever that comes out. This is the Battle Axe IPA from Kelson Brewery of New Hampshire. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.